I can't do this with soup. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was trying to do the Vimy the I don't know what you Vietnam thing again. Yeah, yeah. Didn't work very well. No. No. No, we'll put it in veto on it. I, I vetoed it, yeah. I decided to not do it. Hey, uh, we wanted to apologize that we didn't have an episode for you last week. We had a couple of uh, things personal coming from both sides of our table. <laughs> and uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't put fingers. Put fingers is not nice. Unbelievable. So, uh, so we're... We're uh, our last one was this 2.0 one talking about scum. Yeah. Um, we were going to touch base on the Rebel 2.0, but I think what we're going to do tonight is we got a couple of other events that we have coming up, so we're going to touch base on those and talk about some of the other cool things that we have coming up in the next this week, and then next week we'll go back yeah, into the 2.0. 2.0. Yeah. yeah. So, um. First thing we're going to touch base on is the uh, squad battle that we have coming. Um, we are... So last week, last Thursday, was our tournament for the top three players yeah, and the winner, of Crimson and the, Night Ravens. And the winners were... And... Well, okay, let me finish. Oh, so impatient. This guy's so impatient. He still can't pronounce Leia properly. Leia. See? <laughs> See? See? I can say Leia. Um, Just more so to say, Leo. the uh, way the tournament worked was we were just allowing whatever they wanted to build, whatever they wanted to fly, their normal loadouts at the normal, and because the wave was over and stuff like that, it was quite interesting because some of our players haven't played with their normal loadouts uh, for a while. For so a long time yeah. for a while, so it was quite interesting to see how some of them were able to, or how some of our squad mates were able to to play, but they were like, holy smokes, I haven't played these ships for such a long time, and it's, it was quite it was quite in, interesting. So, on that note, um, I had to turn to the dark side. You know, I turned to the dark side last week. I uh, decided to fly. Are you all ready for this? I flew Imperial. <laughs> Yeah, I do it all the time, but I don't. <laughs> I, I I I don't. And so, how well did you do with Imperial? Um, I'm not very good actually. Yeah, I I won. I think I, I won one. Had a couple of really, and then I had a couple of close games. But um, I I flew a crazy build that was just kind of whack wonky. But I'm going to touch base on it with. Um, I'll touch it up and make a couple of adjustments to it to make it better. So, um. I'm not going to go through my build because, you know, I don't want to talk about it. In know. September, it'll be obsolete anyway. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, you don't need to go over that. We don't need to go over that. But, um, anyways, uh, Jared played his little list of destruction of uh, Nim. Was it Nim? No. Nim, your little Kimalug, and your... Uh, and and Fenrao. Fenrao. Yeah, Fenrao. Fragging Fenrao. That was fun. It was fun. Um, so we had some fun, but, so our top three players for Crimson Night Ravens, ready, are, in third place, Jared Marshall. Yeah, Jared, not me, Jared Marshall. Jared Marshall. So, the good thing is, Jared Marshall is one of our newest, he newer members. He is a new player. And, um, he is, he is our A-wing guy. He is. <laughs> it's like, no matter what it is. Every load of that guy, he always has an A-wing in it. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a prototype. could be whatever he wanted. Whatever it is, it's always an A-wing in yeah. every loadout he makes. So he he played a really good game. He did. And he, he played with the Ghost, right? The Ghost, an A-wing, and Rex, I think. No, I don't remember a Ghost being in Oh, that. no. No, that was his dash. Yeah, it was his dash. His dash build. Yeah. Yeah. His dash. So he's having... So um, he, he's... Built another loadout. Oh, I was talking about the second loadout he was looking at, looking at building for the show. So You're giving away secrets. Yeah, sorry, I don't mean to give away secrets. So, um, <laughs> uh, so he made third place. Yeah. So it was really good to see that someone new out of the group um, is going to be part of this. Is going to be a part of this. So that was really, That's really cool. Really cool, and uh, we're really happy for him. So I was pretty ecstatic, and he's pretty, he's pretty happy when he walked out of the store that night. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> to say the he's, least. 
He's he, thrilled. He he beat Jared, so yeah. he he was pretty pretty thrilled about that. Yeah. Um, next uh, second place went to Andrew Cough. Yeah, uh, he is our Re- he was he's our, our rebel player. He's our rebel player. To heart heart rebel player like me. To, um, but um, he, but he's successful at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna give his build away, but um, uh, it was three ships that he played in regionals. Yeah. Same two ships, and he had, did really good with it. He was in the top twenty with that with that loadout. So um, he uh, he's taking that into battle. So that was really good. He did. He took second place. Um, and lo and behold, our bomber friend Alex Alex Martin. I it. How long has it been since Alex has actually won a tournament? Probably a long time. So I was also pretty happy. Alex um, came with a really good build. And he just, he just, he played, well. he played really well, laid it out, and he's pretty excited about uh, being a uh, part of this. So we're looking forward to seeing. So we got three um, solid uh, build, build out low players, and one, well, two players have been playing for a while, and, and one, a newbie. and a newbie. So we're, we got a good mix. Up. We got a good mix, good and mix. Uh, I'm going to be pretty excited. It's going to be pretty exciting to see what's going to have to transpire. I am, however, waiting for our friends from the Outer Rim Pilots to give me a list. They haven't sent me yet, but um, they have three players. I know Clive is one of them. Yeah, He's one of them for sure, and the other two I'm not too sure about, um, but they're all coming here. So our match for our squadron battle, which is going to be the first one, um, and oh, I'm building a trophy. Well, actually, technically... He's building the trophy, <laughs> and I got all the pieces. Well, you got part of the pieces. I got three quarters of the pieces. I'm going to be going to all, or the, the building store tomorrow to get yeah. So, anyways, we put our heads together yeah. and built the trophy, which is what we're doing. The trophy is, is um, uh, the, the trophy was named the, uh, we're naming it the Galaxy Cup. So it's going to be um, it's going to be up for grabs, um, and uh, that trophy is also going to be. Like, with this works out really well, we're looking at trying to do a bigger version of this, yeah. where that trophy will be a permanent residence. Yeah, I, I think our that, goal is tournament. to uh, have the Galaxy Cup once a year, where uh, every squad within the Northwest that wants to take part sends, what, three, four members? We'll, three, three to four members. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure that out as we go down, but they all send to represent, and we have a battle of the squads, and... So may the best squad win. You're probably wondering how how we've decided to kind of work the squad battle. So I'll go over I'm some still of it. Trying to figure it out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're we're uh, the way the battle works is you take you take three to four of your squad players. They have two loadouts, so it's kind of like a hangar bay. Yeah, where they have two loadouts. Idea, it's a hangar bay. But um, the way that I put a twist into it with Clive's help, is we have your opponent... <laughs> excuse me. We have your opponent choose your loadout for you. Now... <laughs> excuse me. You have received a little grief about this, I have right? received enormous grief about the <laughs> fact that people are not very happy about <laughs> their opponent choosing but, their loadout. That's fine. But... This is the way I look at it. The way I look at it is this. You normally, every X-Wing player, pilot, has at least three, four loadouts that they have, if not more. I know Geek Tech guy's got like 50. Because his phone, he's got like 50, 60. He's scrolling on a consistent basis. But um, um, I, we all have three to four loadouts that we normally play on a regular basis, that's very easy for us to just flow into. So, what I decided to, what we, sorry, it's not what I decided to do, it's what we both decided to do with this match. We'll see how it works, and if not, we'll adjust it. But um, what we decided to do was to take that, that and put a twist with having your opponent choose your loadout. So, uh, how are we going to do that? Well, I think think the way we're going to do it is we're going to choose a dial 
You take a hard three, whichever direction of the hard three, hard yeah, two, or place. a hard one, however you want to do it. You will put your two loadouts beside you, and he'll put his two loadouts beside you. You take your dial, and you put your dial on in the middle, of, and then obviously you choose which one you want, right. and then he flips it, and then at the simultaneously you both flip your dials, and that's the loadout that that person's playing. The reason I decided to do it this way, uh, sorry, I keep saying I, it's not I, it's we. Um, the way we decided, to, the reason why we decided to do this was because when I played in the Hangar Bay. You played in the Hangar Bay? Yeah, we played the Hangar Bay Regionals. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it ended up being everybody playing the same loadout all the time. So you couldn't, but you had two loadouts. Well, so that, I'm like. Yeah, but I was winning all my games. Why change it? Well, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not the point. The, the point is, is we wanted to have, some, I wanted to have some kind of a fun so that you end up playing a couple different loadouts and get a couple of different feels and allowing somebody to do it. So we decided, we, we decided to do it this way. And uh, like I said, we'll see how it works and see how it goes. But um, anyways, that's the basis of that part of it. So it's going to be like a Swiss rock. Well, everybody's going to play. Everybody, everybody plays Swiss. everybody one game. Yeah. The one team and then the team with the most wins. 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 Wins the trophy. So um, that's kind of the way the squadron battle is going to be working. Obviously, if we go on a mass, a larger scale, um, this is only between two squadrons. Obviously, there would be a top amount that you'd work your way through like you would do on a normal basis. Well, so. you could just run a normal format. In the first round, you don't play your own teams. That's the way I'd run it. But anyways, um, anyways, where are we where are we playing this event? Well, Curtis? why don't you say? It? Well, because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we're playing at the Fraser <laughs> Fraser Valley Tabletop Fraser Valley Tabletop yeah. Game Event. Well, that's cool. That's like five minutes from my house. Yeah, we're gonna be playing it there. <laughs> um, match starts. Matches start at noon. Well. We're going to try to get them started right away. <laughs> um, as most in X-Wing fashion, we usually start late. Yes. But um, with that being said, it's the Fraser Valley Tabletop Gaming where we'll have a whole bunch of people. So people are going to be able to witness the game, how the game is played. Are we going to have games on the side just playing? For yeah. Fun? So the, the, the point was is he wanted me to have a bunch of people, extra people come out from X-Wing so that they could play extra battles and um, or extra matches so that if somebody wanted to play, they could play the ships and, and do that. Unfortunately, the downside to that is there is no way that somebody is going to let somebody else touch their ships. So <laughs> good luck with that. But you'll be able to, the person that, you know, you'll be able to come out and watch and ask questions. And as the players are playing, they'll explain it to you. The good thing about X Wing is, well, why don't you take some of it? What you know? What's the good thing about X Wing that we all love? The community is pretty much. Yeah, it's a good community. It's a good community. Yeah, they all seem like really good people, and we all get along, and there's really no fighting. And no, so you know, like it's not, everybody it's not helps like magic. everybody. Everybody helps everybody out, answers questions. Um, and it's a very friendly, camaraderie kind of environment. And well, I just think it's neat that you're doing it at this uh, the boardwalk event or whatever it is. The, table the Fraser game. Tabletop Game? Yeah. I mean, even if you just come down, check out the Fraser, the, the Tabletop Games. There's going to be tons of games yeah, going on. Yeah, there's games going on. There's he's prizes. got a secret auction. And private, yeah, yeah, he's well, got, all kinds. He's all got kinds. food. He's going to have all that stuff there. So. Yeah, there's going to be all kinds of stuff going on. So I was uh, just checking. That's not Clyde. Sorry, I'm waiting for Clyde. <laughs> Uh, that's why my phone's here, because I'm trying to get the three uh, lists from, from Clive. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my bad. You know, my bad. Yeah. Um, but anyways. Needless to say, what what's the full, the proper name of the event? Fridge of Valley Tabletop Game. And it's on, it's got a Facebook page? Yes. And if you're into tabletop games, period, it's worth coming out. You can watch us play. You can... Join in the tabletop games. There's events. tons. There's RPGs going to be going on. And it's it's hard in Abbotsford, just off the freeway. Del Air. Well, right. Yeah, it's in one of the big churches along the freeway there. Yeah. The, 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 Salva the Salvation Army Oh, one. the Salvation Army one. That's yeah. Right. So, I mean, it's not far off the freeway. 
if you look at if you like tabletop games and your free Saturday, I well, know there's a whole bunch of events. It's, coming it's up. not just it's not just tabletop games. They're going to be RPG. Well, yeah. They're going to be um, playing card games. Like yeah. they're going to have card games. Like Game of Thrones was last year. Game of Thrones was playing there. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to be running L five R. Um, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so there'll be lots of good stuff. There'll be lots of really good stuff, and they. They really do. Um, Chris uh, last Braun. year ran it. Chris Braun ran yeah. it last year, and uh, he did a pretty uh, he did a really bang up job of doing it. There was lots of prizes. His wife and kids helped, and uh, it was a pretty good little yeah, be gathering. Fun. So you know, like it was it was a lot of fun. So just kind of keep that in mind. We're going to um, attempt to film too. So yes, there, we are. Be a comedy you... of errors going on. So, that one. So we're, we're, we're planning on, because neither of us are in the tournament. No. No. Which is the way it should have worked out. That's the way we wanted to work yeah, it out anyways. Yeah. If one of us was going to make it, we were just going to avoid our, our, our spot. Yeah. Um, but we are going to videotape. Well, try to videotape. Yeah. The, the, the plan is, is we've got, uh, well, we got the webcam. we got a couple of handicaps. So hopefully we'll be able to get all three tables going, and then we'll piece together stuff. I'll and be happy and with one table, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll try yeah. But we'll, before. you know, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. I, I mean, we'll we'll see what kind of thing we get. We might we might be able to break it up so that there's like uh, as, uh, three separate tables, kind of if well, the we'll, size we'll it see. is. We we we'll have to see the space. But I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to it. it's going to be fun, and it'll be our first time that we're going to be doing a. A game along the lines of like we're gonna actually um, talk about a game in in progress. Uh, unfortunately, it won't be live stream, but uh, <laughs> well, not yet. Not yet. We're working. We're on working. We're working on new computer down the road. To, to That'll be able to. That's right. Hold, right hold now we're, we're in low budget production. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, there <laughs> is a couple. the crew is broken down. There is, there is a couple of, <laughs> there is a couple of, of, of people we know that have offered to. We got, we got to be the only things. YouTube channel I know that gets going, gets running, and then all of our computers pack it in. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, anyway. what he's trying to talk about is my computer, which well, I was so happy about. Where's mine? Well, yours is in the trash. <laughs> um, but, so, last, last week. I'm sitting there, I'm doing a bunch of stuff, and my computer crashed. And I'm like, oh, no, this is not good, no. right? So I'm playing around with it. Luckily, we got I got it working and everything's everything's going, but um, it's going to have to go in to get some more maintenance. But at least uh, we've we've got the match going. So um, anyways, come on down to the Fraser Valley Tabletop Game. Check it out. We're going to have the squad battle. Galaxy Cup. Keep your eyes out for our attempts for the videos of the yep. games. Yeah, we're gonna have. Out. I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna try to do it. So we're gonna have some games loaded. I know that we've only been doing much of our talking videos, and we have a few of our our flights. Uh, fight Friday well, night now flights. Now we'll have a whole bunch more. We'll but uh, we're going ones. to have a couple more of those ones going. Yeah. One of the things we do want to also go over is the new championship kits, store championship. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So. There has been a lot. Of, there's been a lot of comments on Facebook about the store championship. Oh, that's luck! You get a full art juke card. Hey, that, I like with juke. a boring as hell picture on it. Uh, let's see here. The, Yellow range rulers. Yeah, and I think orange too. A director critic, which I'll never use. And what's this? Oh, is that Z95? The Kavian? No, that's a that's an X-wing. No, it's but, a Z95. No, uh, cave in whatever zealot. That's one. Of, that's coming in that. Oh, that's pack. a new. That's a new uh, pilot. Yeah, that's new X wing. That's a new X wing pilot. It's a one pilot. I never fly one pilots. I mean, I will. The art on it looks nice. I like the art better than the rest of the cards. But really, I'm looking at the store champion, and I'm going snore. <laughs> Just might uh, be me. <laughs> but, I. I I, <laughs> Where's the scum? <laughs> well, really to be honest, really to be honest with you, I mean, when um, Fantasy Flight launched this new 2.0 thing, yeah. they said there was going to be a lot more support, and there's going to well, be a lot more good stuff. for support. Don't get me wrong, I love FFG tournaments, I love all the swag and all that kind of stuff. 
I was just hoping that for 2.0 coming out and this and being store champions that there'd be some something that'll blow my socks off. And there's nothing blowing my socks off here. I like my new I like I mean I got the full set of range rulers this year in the orange. And I like that better than yellow. I'm not a fan of yellow. Well so I don't know. You know, you can't have everything. But I mean, uh, say what you want. So yeah. um I work anyways, the it's looking pretty good. I mean, obviously there's and I'll be honest with you, even a lot of our guys in our squadron are still kind of like hoeing and humming about about the uh about 2.0 and a lot of other people are selling stuff constantly getting out of it and there's not well, I don't think people are getting out of it I think people are thinning down their collections yeah, yeah I don't think I haven't heard anybody who said they're getting out of it I think I think the reason they're thinning them is cuz they're going to start buying some of the new stuff so I was, I was talking to Brad did I tell you Brad Yeah yeah Brad yeah Yeah and I mean he's still in it but he's he's kind of like you know what when 2.0 comes then I'll start playing again yeah, Brad's kind of like that, though. So, so it's, I'm hoping at least the store championships happen after the 2.0 is released. No. Because I think they'll I have think low the, turnouts if they don't. <laughs> uh, actually, the store championships are going on during the summer. Are they? Yeah, that's... Well, I mean, it improves my odds, so I can't complain. Um, I'll be there for them, but... You know, I found even. For, I think it's going on for the summer, as far as I know. That's usually when the tournament for all the all of X Wing usually goes on for that that particular uh, time frame. The stores it's, haven't got the packs yet, though. Uh, well, uh, no, because that's usually an FFG. I'm not no, sure. And, get to and the monthly going. things, the turnout for the monthly things has been low at all the stores. Well, we had we had about we had ten at ours. Yeah, I know, but I was at trading in the game for in Surrey, and it only had like maybe ten. When it's usually twenty or thirty, so yeah, things are things are, are people are just kind of taking a back seat right now to see what's going to be happening. Yeah. Happening, I, I think that some of them, I think some of the people are worried that um, they're going to be spending more money um, and uh, having to have to buy all these ex um, expansion kits where to switch over all their ships and stuff. So um, I'll be honest with you. From what FFG said, because they're also doing this for uh, the purpose of trying to help other stores with the with the stock that they already have in play with the 1.0 product, is How are they doing that? it's and uh, I think the guys were talking about it on Thursday. You can actually buy an expansion kit, like a conversion kit. Sorry, yeah. a conversion kit, and the old ships. For cheaper than, like, if you put them together, for cheaper than um, buying a new starter kit. That makes no sense. Well, the conversion kit, I'm because confused. they're saying there's they're, what they're saying is is that the the kits have enough, and people have ships already. Yeah. Right. So you buy like one or two of certain ships, and then you could just convert them. The problem is, is everybody wants some of the new stuff. So, like, everybody's getting all those nice little fangled, dangled uh, X-Wing yeah. movable parts. And then the, the Fen Rao ship that's going to have the the path, the, the yeah, what, spins. what's the name of this ship? I'm sorry. Protectorate. Yeah, thank you. The Protectorate wings spin, you know. So, it, there's there's all that. Everybody wants all that new stuff. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. But from what I understand, there is... You could buy like a conversion kit and like four or five ships. You'll be you'll be able to have more. Um, you'll you'll be able to play stuff, and it'll be cheaper for you than actually buying a conversion kit or a starter kit. Depending if somebody. Why well, do you need the different. starter kit for the new rules, the new rulers, and the new damage deck? Yeah, but and, but and, here's and the new debris because yeah, I but here's the debris is here's changed. here here's the thing, um, and I'll and I'll be honest with you. So for me. I'm ordering a kit. Mm -hmm. With the kits, when you pre-order kits, you get a second damage deck. Okay. So, um, and so what happens is, is now you're going to have two damage decks. So if you have a new player coming in that doesn't want to spend an astronomical amount of money, they can take your second damage deck. But they still need to get dice, rulers, debris. Yeah, but and the new tokens. How many extra dice do you have? The new tokens don't have to be new tokens. 
You don't have to use no, the new tokens. No, they have new tokens they, for things that they don't have tokens for now. Well, like the force tokens. That's and the right. energy tokens. But how many tokens? Other. Yeah, but how, how many? Okay, I understand what you're saying, but how many players in our group is going to have an overabundance amount of tokens that we're not going to use? I'm burning all mine. Exactly. <laughs> My case exactly. So I want new tokens, but you need the new rulers, and the debris is no. Different. You don't need the new rulers. We yes, can take. We can take our your rulers have to have the line down the center. Huh. No, no, no. Well, for for a new player, but for us that have our set, our crimson, our crimson night raven set, we're going to. I'm going to. I'm talking to the guy that made them for us to put the line on the other side for us and find out how much it's going to cost for us to do. Well, that. that's good for us, but what about for them? <laughs> Well, if somebody's coming in, we usually we usually recruit them into our group. So we'll have we'll have. I, I, I think buy, I think buying a starter set is always the best investment with hey, FFG. You're going to get three ships. You're going to get uh, an X-wing with the movable wings, and that starter set will be cheaper than buying three ships I, and I, crap separately. But I'm just telling you what people are saying. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's better than this or it's better than that. I'm just telling you what people are saying or yeah. what they're planning on doing. My, so, my thing is trying to figure out which faction I'm going to start with first because I'm not buying the upgrade kits for all three right off the bat. That's just not. I'm not spending two hundred. It, it shouldn't be too hard for you. I'm not spending you're, 200 you're going, on it. You're going. You are going scum, and you know it. Don't even <laughs> go there, Mister Scum. This guy, he's telling you. Oh, I, I, I don't know what. I, I really don't know what I'm going to start with. The guy plays scum. Seriously, seriously. Oh, you know what? I make the it convert, the, the conversion kits that come out. So what conversion kits you buy? I bought some. Of course you did. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy all three at the same time and the starter set. I'll get a starter set and maybe Scum or Imperial. I'm not getting Rebels. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, um, yeah. So he's got... <laughs> There's too much good Legion stuff uh, coming out. Uh, <laughs> I want to spend my money in Legion. So, there's... Anyways, uh, we're going to end the video here pretty quick, but yeah. just to touch base, make sure you check out our webpage. Or, sorry, yeah. our Facebook page. Not and right if now. you hear about store tournaments, let us know on our, in our emails or whatever, because we want to put it up on the webpage. And the email? We want to support those stores. Is what is it again? CTG yeah. at gmail.com. Yeah. Don't forget, send a message. We'll talk to you. <laughs> Which reminds me, I should probably check that. Well, I always try to, but you delete all the emails. No, I haven't deleted anything. Dude, it. okay. <laughs> I haven't. You know what? I don't even want to go there. I already talked to this guy. The reason why I haven't done anything on the internet as of the last two days because of certain issues I'm not even going to go into right now. But anyways, <laughs> um, boy, this guy's great, man. What? You know, why do I get such a hard time? Oh, like, my Lord. You know, I just, you know, just. It's a train wreck. Put up, put it is a train wreck. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a train wreck. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Look, again. Well, well before, what, what time, how much longer we got? Ah, uh, we got a couple of minutes. We just, you know, okay. we'll just chat. So, what, no, what do you guys, what do you guys let us know about the store tournaments because we won't, won't turn on that. So we want to make sure people show. Everybody's probably noticed that in the areas, the turnouts died out a little bit. So if we can press and push and make sure people show up and are aware of the events, let's have good turnouts because uh, we want to make sure when 2.0 gets here, the stores are still, yeah, still, I, still into the game and still willing to support it. Yeah, I... I, I don't think that I, I I honestly think that you should just keep running your stuff, doing your normal stuff, keep going, and the reason for that is because if you keep running them on a consistent basis, then everybody knows that they're always there. So as soon as everything comes out and people start getting, they know where to go. Yeah, you keep you plan yeah. to keep the Thursday uh, nights going. Thursday at nights at Bastions goes no problem. Sunday nights at Nerd, Sundays at at Nerd Nerd Haven. Haven. They're still, they're all still all going. Yeah. So out here in the valley, anyways. Um, but you know, like just kind of, just you know, keep your flows going, get your groups going, make sure everybody is continually, you know, coming out. Like tell them, hey, just come on out and fly some ships, and just you know, keep into the routine of the mechanics because the mechanics of the game have not have not changed. 
Well, they right? will. <laughs> no, no, they don't. Movement doesn't change. Oh, putting Christ. a focus token, putting a, a an invade token has I, a small you, change. You, <laughs> I'm just laughing. You saw, if you've, you've probably seen it on Facebook, everybody else has the, the breakdown list that's out for the Imperial upgrade box. Have you, you've, you've seen that. We, you saw the forums before we, we started up, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I love, well, there was one guy who commented, he just went, holy crap, they've shaved off all the fat on the upgrade cards. There's less than half of what they used to be. And you look at the list, there's half of what they used to be. They're upgrade choices. It, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what 2.0 is, but it is going to be alert. It, it's for, for us players who like to customize and do play really rogue builds, uh, it's going to be a challenge now. I'm well, I, I honestly, I honestly think that the good thing about the good thing about this is, is I think that the game. I honestly do believe that the game did need a reboot. Oh yeah, it needed um, a kick in the pants. And, and I mean, I, I'm just like everybody else, right? I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars when I've already spent hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of dollars, right? But I mean. To be you honest, have a lot of cards in the box, though. Yeah, so you, you know, like, don't get disheartened about it. The game, I, FFG, is actually taking care of the X-wing players and the pilots. So you know, and they're adding fun stuff. They're adding new pilots. I noticed there's no Luke Skywalker pilot card. There's only a Luke Skywalker upgrade. There's a pilot card. I looked in the list of pilot cards, and that he was not listed on that. Upgrade Maybe. Kit. Maybe the guy that did it was uh, doesn't want to have. No, it was uh, an actual picture of the brochure out of the upgrade box. Really? <laughs> I did not see Luke Skywalker. Uh, he has in there, to be in there, except it's an upgrade. He has to be in there. He has to be. So you can't. You can't. But you can't that is for company. next video. Next video. Yeah. Two rebels. 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 Swabby gets the mic. I get a poke. Oh, I think it might just. <laughs> just, so just, just I like talking, anyways. So I'm all good with that. <laughs> Okay. And talking, talking, and talking, and talking. Well, you know what? I don't need this. Well, anyways, it's time. <laughs> oh, it's, a time. Anyways. it's time. Yep. Have a fantastic night. Have a fantastic Thanks, night. Coach. We got lots of stuff coming up. Legions, I plan to do a breakdown of what's been released for Rebels and what's been released for the Empire with all the upgrades and stuff. So new players, I think we're already to a point where if you haven't invested in the game, you might want to watch this and then choose what you want to buy. Because, uh, yeah, there's been enough new stuff that... Uh, Have a good night. Selected. Talk to you later. <laughs>